All right, we're going to go ahead and get started, y'all. And uh, I trust everybody can hear me. If not, why well, raise your hand or whatever, and we'll, we'll turn it up a little bit. What I'm going to do for the next 15 minutes is just talk a little bit uh, with you about Dermos Dangel. So with respect to this, I don't know how many have used this product or have not, but it's become pretty popular, especially in the farrier circle, using this to take the edge off of a horse. Uh, not only for farriers, but horse owners use it also for things for them. And uh, it's just a good, very safe, effective form of mild sedation for the horse. We've got a label for just sedation and restraint. We don't make any claims for pain relief with this product, so it's designed, even though it's a prescription drug, it's designed to be administered by the horse owner or the caretaker of that animal. And there again, for, for a minor husbandry, husbandry type of procedures, and foremost among this would be shoeing and trimming. Again, no claims for pain relief, so for really painful procedures or where that horse is gonna be hurting, um, the Demosedan injectable product is, is definitely better for that use. And that's something that, that needs to go through the veterinarian as far as them administering that product. Um, but the, the, the gel, even though it is prescription, it's designed for the horse owner to, to administer to that, to that animal. If you haven't used this before, um, it's designed to go underneath the tongue. So it's not designed to be swallowed like a dewormer or something like that. If the product is swallowed, it actually doesn't work because the horse's digestive system breaks that down and it's not absorbed well through those tissues. It's designed to be absorbed through the mucous membranes of the, uh, the mouth and the tongue. So we give it underneath the tongue, right there in the bars of the mouth, and um, just squirt that right in there. The product comes there again, if you haven't seen that, this is an entire dose. This is three cc's in this tube, and that'll treat up to 1,320 pounds of horse. So about one cc per 400 plus pounds on that product. The, uh, the little plunger on the syringe, it's marked off in quarter cc increments, so you can dial that down to about 100 plus pounds per, um, per quarter cc on that. You guys have used these types of syringes before, so we won't won't spend much time on that, and we'll open this up for questions here in a little bit. But the main thing is getting that underneath the tongue. There's just the dose chart on what we'll see, and you can see the dose volume, that first one ml or one cc, same thing, will treat just a little over 400 pounds, and then the whole three cc tube will treat up to 1,320 pounds. So these are some of the important things prior to administration. We want to make sure that that horse's mouth doesn't have any feed or anything like that in it, because if they do, they'll spit that gel out. Um, if they've got a wad of feed up there in their, uh, in their cheek, we'd like to remove all feed and water. What we did find after we launched this product, there were a few horses after we administered it and we stuck them back in the stall, a few horses would go to the water bucket, stick their mouth in there and rinse that product out. And so obviously it doesn't work that way. So we recommend you take feed and water out at the time you administer the product. And then there again, under the tongue is very important. On the product it says, you know, after you've administered a dose, just discard the unused portion if you don't use the entire tube. Most people use the entire tube. Uh, now if you've got a really small horse, a six or 800 pounder, uh, I'd recommend you adjust the dose accordingly. But a full size adult horse, most people, whether it's 1100 pounds or 1,300 pounds, they use the whole tube. And then the other big thing is allow appropriate time or adequate time for this product to take effect, and it takes about 40 minutes, y'all. If you give this and you get in on that horse at about 25 minutes, the horse's head will start to drop and it'll look like it's taking effect, but if you start messing with that horse at about 25 minutes, you're not gonna see the results that, that, that are gonna be uh, successful for you. So we wanna make, wait a full 40 minutes and make sure that that horse, we stick that horse off usually in a stall, but someplace that's quiet, that the other horses are not gonna bother that animal. So someplace quiet where it can be by itself. And again, the feed and water thing, we wanna take that away from them and wait that 40 minutes. And it's gonna take 40 minutes for you to get full effect from that. Um, you can jump in there sooner than that, but you'll be disappointed with the results. 
So this is very typical what you see, and probably everybody in the room has seen horses that have been sedated with other products, maybe with the Dermosedan injectable or with xylazine, romp, and those kind of things, which is another drug in the same class of medications as the Dermosedan product is. But those horses, typically their head's gonna drop, they're gonna get a base-wide type of stance, um, and that's very typical. You may see them sweat. That's normal under the effects of these types of drugs. Sometimes geldings or stallions, they'll relax their, pe relax their penis a little bit, they'll drop down, and usually after about 45 minutes to an hour, most of these horses will also urinate, and that's very typical. Those are all expected side effects of the use of these, what we call alpha twos or this class of drug, okay? We'll get about an hour and a half to three hours worth of sedation with a dose of this product. It will depend on the horse and of course depend on the doses that you use. The higher the dose, a little bit longer duration. But that's what you can expect to see. And then after the, when you're all done with the horse, we still want to keep the feed and water away from them. And the reason that is, the effects of these drugs, it'll actually do, cause some relaxation in this laryngeal area. And so they don't swallow as well under the, the effects of these alpha-2 types of drugs like dermosidan. So we're just a little bit worried when they're, if they go back to eat or drink when they're under these effects, there's a little bit higher risk that they could, you know, get some, some food or some water down the wrong pipe, so to speak, get it down the trachea, those types of things. So we wanna just keep that away from them until they're fully recovered. And that's usually, um, they're gonna be fully recovered usually two to three hours after the end of the the effect of the sedation, okay? So if, if we get two hours worth of, of sedative effects, give them another two to three hours and we should be good to go. All righty. Some of the things where we use this for, and again, we've gone over these and these are pretty self-explanatory, but certainly any type of farrier work is probably the biggest use of this product we have across the board. But let's say that the owner wants to clean the sheath, and you know, a pretty well-behaved gelding or stallion, uh, we're going to pull the mane, we're going to body clip the horse, maybe clip the ears or a bridle path on a horse that doesn't like that. Bandage changes, especially in young horses that are pretty rambunctious, uh, where we've got them holed up in a stall for a few days. Those are the places where we see a lot of the use of this drug. Uh, other places, young horses, when they're starting their first turnouts, sometimes as yearlings where they're not used to going out, sometimes uh, if we've got big groups of them, we'll sedate some of those so they're, they're not as likely to, to hurt one another. As far as how to use this, and again, you guys know all this, but it is a prescription drug, so there has to be a veterinarian in the loop, okay? So if you've, if you've got a client, you feel like this, this drug would be advantageous for you and the horse, um, the good thing to do is just talk to the owner and say, hey, for old Bessie, the next time we come out, I don't wanna fight this horse, she's hard on my back, or whatever it might be, go talk to your veterinarian, get a tube of Dermosedan gel, keep that at home, and about, 45 minutes or an hour before I'm supposed to be out there, give it to the horse, okay? And the nice thing about the product, it's labeled specifically for administration by the horse owner. So there's a whole sheet in here, including pictures to, to uh, tell the owner how to administer it properly. So it's pretty straightforward. It's, it's pretty well foolproof from that regard, but we do need to have a veterinarian in the loop, okay? And like I say, it's, it, it, it helps the veterinarian too, uh, so they don't have to go out there and stand there and sedate the horse with an IV type of injection or something like that. So it really works good for everybody. It works good for you all, works good for the horse owner and for the veterinarian. But the full 40 minutes, the, as much as anything, the owner needs to be aware it's gonna take 40 minutes to have an effect. And the nice thing about it, typically we're gonna need, to, we won't need to use a twitch, uh, uh, lip twitch or lip chain on most of these horses if they've had the dorm gel, skin twitch, those kind of things. And you guys are probably more aware of this than I am. New generation of horse owners, they're not as amenable to using a twitch on their animals like folks my age. And so this is a nice alternative for them. And it's good for the horse. The other thing from a practical perspective, being bent underneath those animals, um, with mild sedation like we get, typically these horses, they're, they're they're pretty good about it, but they don't lean on you real bad. Um, so it's not, they're not so drunk that when you pick up one of those legs, they're really gonna throw that body weight on you. So it, that makes it really nice. Okay. 
So there again, it does require some communication kind of between you and the horse owner, direct them to their veterinarian, because we want a veterinarian in the loop on this. It is a prescription drug, okay? That's just some safety information that we're required to present. Any horses that have existing heart issues, we don't recommend you use this drug on, uh, but the good thing is we don't have many horses that have heart issues. So um, just anything like that, or if they've had a bad experience in the past with this type of drug, then we would not want to use that. So pretty much common sense things with respect to the safety side of it. And then lastly, with respect to safety on the human side, it is recommended that whoever administers this product to wear gloves, you can actually absorb this medication through the intact skin, but that takes about an hour to an hour and a half of direct contact before any appreciable absorption occurs. And because it's blue in color, it's really easy to see if you get it on yourself. And so basically, as long as you wash it off in a few minutes, you're gonna be fine. But the directions do recommend that gloves be used when you administer the product or if you're gonna be messing around in the mouth of that horse after you've administered the product, it's a good idea to have gloves on, okay? So just safety precautions, common sense kind of things. So very quickly, the take home, it is a prescription medication. It does just take the edge off these horses. It's not gonna make them really, really drunk like the injectable does. It's designed for these types of minor non-painful procedures. So we don't, uh, we don't have a claim for, for pain relief. Uh, I get questions about, well, should I keep this in my tack box in case my horse colics and it's a pain reliever for that? No, uh, it takes too long to have effect for that. If, if your horse is colicking, we're gonna wanna give something injectable that's gonna either be IV or IM, have a much quicker onset of effect and, and uh, be much better for the horse than this. Uh, we like for the horse to be calm at the time of administration. If we go out and we get that horse really worked up before we give it, and this is true for all of the, the tranquilizers or the sedatives that we use on horses, if that horse is really stirred up, the products don't work well. And that's because of all the endogenous, you know, epinephrines and things like that that are released internally, and they will actually override the effects of these drugs. So we want that horse calm when we administer it. If that horse is really worked up at the time we give it, they'll be disappointed, you'll be disappointed in the results, okay? You want to, again, make sure the mouth is clean before we administer it, give it under the tongue, and remove food and water, and then wait the 40 minutes, okay? So if we remember those things, uh, we won't have any problem with that product, and it, it does, uh, does help make your life a lot easier. So any questions that I could help answer on this product? Yes, sir. Um, short answer, are there any allergic or adverse reactions we need to know of? Short answer, no. Um, there's always the risk, you know, with any medication that an individual horse might have some type of allergic reaction. With oral medications, that's a much lower risk as opposed to something we're given in the vein or in the muscle. Um, but could we occasionally see hives in a horse after this? Yeah, that's possible. Um, acute systemic reactions, I mean, where the horse really has a a full-blown systemic type of reaction, that is just exceptionally, exceptionally unusual. In fact, I don't know that we've ever had a systemic type of reaction reported with this. But uh, like with anything else, once in a while you could see a horse break out with hives or something like that. But that's the other really nice thing, the safety profile of this product is really good, really good. Typical retail price, and talking to veterinarians that are dispensing this, $25 to $30 range. Lauren, would you say that's about right? $25 to $30. And if you think, compare that to the cost of a veterinarian driving out to sedate a horse or something like that, it's much, you know, much more economical for the owner. Appreciate y'all coming. <laughs>